Episode 3 was absolutely phenomenal, hilarious even, so much so I kind of ended up re-watching it a couple more times and it really reminded me how much I've missed the show. I'ma say it again, like these past 5 years, I never thought I would've missed it this much and Episode 3 had everything that I adored from this show, like it never fails when it comes to its more comical aspects. So in this episode, Ern hooks up Al with an opportunity to establish more connections for the sake of his European tour and they all head to this millionaire home which honestly felt more like a speakeasy considering the whole decoy home setup and they you know they enter the party and they they kind of branch off into their own and have their little side quest so Al gets introduced to Fernando the millionaire and the reason why they're there in the first place and he tries to get familiar with the guy and honestly it really was Fernando doing more of that than Al because as soon as he was put in front of that tree and visibly shown his disinterest towards it I was like yeah this relationship isn't surviving this episode and that happened to be the case and and after a couple rewatches I did realize I felt very bad for Fernando you know like he did express that he wanted to you know have meaningful like bonds with people like influential people so long as they're able to give him like a good exchange of ideas but Al really wasn't giving that to him it this whole endeavor was more so a hustle than to build a relationship and I don't even think either of them are wrong it was more so just a bad match of like personalities like so it just wouldn't thrive and that had happened and I guess the guy's last straw was Al making light of a situation he thought of to be very serious you know that ghost story and everything surrounding it so that whole thing kind of costed him a potential like a, a probably big help to his whole European tour. So over in Darius's corner, he kind of gets himself involved into a pretty racially awkward situation after a, I would say, a harmless interaction he had with a party goer. Which, by the way, I thought it was a really wise idea to put Darius in the center of all this, because as we know, Darius is this character that does a lot of introspection. He sometimes challenges the audience on certain topics, and I thought doing so here was a good idea, because I think had it been earned van or even al it would have just been more awkward and i don't think it would like prompted that kind of thinking anyways after this whole exchange you know he kind of just brushes it off it's whatever but like someone comes around like nah man that's not right how what she said to you like you should be upset and he's like no it's okay which i would say it would almost exposes like how the west makes people jaded towards those kind of things like yeah you i think it would make sense why anyone would be upset because like everyone around him was like oh man i feel so bad for you and it felt like out of whack pity and pandering at times but it's like man should he be upset like should he not it's one of those things you know so i thought that whole situation was pretty interesting to say the least okay so everything involving tj and Ern, i th i honestly thought it was a pretty funny like scene especially when he like rollerbladed through like the staircase and he was just kind of like sitting there eavesdropping not even subtle about it <laughs> I honestly don't have much to say on it. I thought it was pretty funny though. But I do wonder if we'll like see the character again. I mean, I've kind of said that in the past, but it never came true. Like I thought the Migos was going to come back. <laughs> it never happened. And so we get to Ern and Vanessa. Man, she really did have me at the first half. She really did. Because that whole pool sky conversation even reassured me. Because I really thought things were all good and dandy and things were civil. And that could be true to some extent. But after this episode, I'm not so sure anymore. Because he kind of leaves Earn on voicemail. And so there's definitely more to that conversation. And after watching it a few times, I feel as though when she had said, like, what could she be mad at him for? And he responds, I don't know. I feel as though that might have rubbed her the wrong way. And I think it was almost like prompting him to come to that realization on his own without any of her input. And perhaps this kind of reveals that he might have not even taken full responsibility or even addressed the issue with her directly. And especially with how season two ended off between them, it does make sense why she'd still be upset. Like all throughout season two, Ern was kind of selfish and very prideful and sometimes even compromised the relationship to his own benefit. And this is even addressed in the previous season. You want me to go first? Please. I want to be in a committed relationship where I'm valued as a human being and not as an accessory that you can fuck. That's a good answer. I don't know what I want. I, I know this arrangement works for me. So it works for you. So you don't want to change anything. It's 
definitely feels like a trap. And so I wonder where this is going to go moving forward. I'm sure it'll get resolved before the end of season three and probably into season four, but I'm sure it will. That's kind of the only thing I can draw to at this point. So all in all, I thought this was a pretty good episode. Many good laughs. I found myself rewatching it, as I said before, and I'm hoping to see more like it. I'm sure we will. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.